Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So today we're going to be talking about a mineral buffet. This is very new to us, but I'll kind of explain what I've learned about it and our shipment just arrived. Hey guys, so before we get started, I do want to say I'm not a professional. I'm not a vet. I, I'm not a nutritionalist. I have no degrees in any of this. This is all my personal opinion and just information that I've gathered. So don't exactly follow everything that I say or do. This is for my herd and my herd only. You guys can take with it what you will. So here it is from FedEx. They just dropped it off and we got this from FCE, which is, let me look at the information real quick. All right, so this is from Free Choice Enterprises up in Wisconsin. And uh, so anyway, this is all the minerals and how they come in. They come in 25 pound bags and they're each labeled with what they are. So um, we're gonna make labels and what our partner did, we're gonna be doing the same thing. He bought a whole bunch of these bins and we're gonna label each one um, to store them so that they stay dry and then uh, we're also going to label down there with on the feeders so we know which ones are which when we go to refill them all right you guys so i'm going to take just a minute to talk about the minerals before we go out and i'll show you the feeder that we have i'm also going to show you our partner's feeder because we have two different styles that we're going to be using um, and then we'll show you the minerals and then we'll see how the goats react um so you know, whenever you own goats, it's really important to have a loose mineral because mineral blocks do not give enough to the goats. Um, unlike cows, cows can have a block, horses can have a block. But with goats, they need a, real, a loose mineral for them to really get enough of what they need. So when you go to the store and you buy a loose mineral, it's a mineral mix. So it has all the specific minerals in a mix and then they sell that mix all over the U.S. The problem is everywhere is different, even mile by mile. The ground is different. The water is different. Um, so that basic mineral mix, they can only eat so much of it without getting too much of something, but then they also don't get enough of other things. So I liked the mineral buffet idea because each mineral is separate. There's 20 minerals and each one is in its own little cup. And just like people, when we crave certain foods, it's because our body is needing something out of that food. And so it's you know, the basic same idea with the goats is they're going to go around, they're going to smell each one, and then their body's going to like start craving each one that they need. And they're going to lick on it. And whenever goats take in minerals, they literally lick it just enough, like you would put a, a little pinch of salt, like that's how much they take. And then they'll sit there and they'll lick it and swallow it. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, they, their body's going to tell them what they need. If something doesn't smell good, they probably don't need it because they have enough in their body. So that's kind of the idea of it. I like this because with a mix, like here where we are, we're really low in copper and selenium. And uh, the mineral mix has a lot of copper and selenium. But because of all the other minerals, certain ones deplete other ones. Um, but anyway, they can't eat it enough to get enough copper and selenium. So the problem is, it, you know, so that's the problem, pretty much. Um, I hope that makes sense to you guys. But anyway, so I like this idea that each one is separate. They can lick as much as they need or as little as they need of each type of mineral. So I'll get out there. We'll show you guys our mineral setup idea. And so we pretty much just have a plank of wood. We have all these little cups. We have 20 little sections. And then we also bought some uh, piping. And the way that we're going to do that is install the pipe with a little hole in the bottom and then it's almost like a gravity feeder. This way we could fill it up and they won't run out of minerals because it's going to hold so many minerals. Now a partner, he bought um, at the at, like tractor supply, the little feeder 
containers. So it has two cups on each side. And he's just mounting a piece of wood. And he's going to mount them to that. And then each one is labeled. It's very important for labeling because you don't want to mix these up. So because a lot of them can look similar, smell similar, um, but each one is different. And if you mix certain minerals, it can actually counteract each other and cancel each other out after so long. So if you mix them all together, it's just not good. So it's really, really important to label them correctly and label them exactly how they are written because certain ones are similar. So let's go show you our feeders. We'll get some minerals in them and see how the goats do with it. So here is our makeshift mineral feeder. So it'll hold all 20 minerals. That one's higher because it's copper. They need a lot of copper. So pretty much what it is, these are stuck in place. They can't move them. It's so far off the ground, but we're going to take one board, which we haven't done just yet, and part way up, we're going to put it across. That way the younger goats can stand up on the board and reach the minerals. So what it's going to do is we can fill these up with minerals, and they'll just feed her out into the little tray here and they can lick on these as they need them. So this is the way we designed our mineral feeder. But we are going to give it about a week and we're only gonna give about two cups of minerals in each just to make sure that they don't somehow destroy this because if you all have owned goats, you know how destructive they can be. Um, as long as they don't destroy these, then we will fill them up. All right, here we are, all of our minerals and vitamins. All right, girls, come on in, come check it out. See what you think. Ellie May is going after the zinc. So is Evie. girls there's more what else do you need oh what'd you find a little bit of sulfur and it looks like she found a little bit of boron huh yeah <laughs> What else are we eating? A little bit of sulfur, same as the other goat. She's also testing the cups to see if she can dump them, which she can't. Ha ha! <laughs> A little more zinc. Well, everybody's definitely going for the zinc. Taking some potassium again. More potassium. What do you think, Jericho? Get you some zinc? No? Just checking things out. <laughs> all right, so here's our partner set up. So he's got all these little, so he bought all these from Tractor Supply and they're bolted on top and bottom. And so we've got all the minerals over here, like that. What are you going after, huh? You going after some boron? <laughs> All right, you guys, it's the end of the day. Sun's going down. Long day, but um, I hope this video was helpful. If any anybody else does the mineral buffet, maybe you've been doing it for a while, let me know how it's working out for you. We will definitely do an updated video. Probably give it a couple of weeks, maybe a month, before we update to see how it's doing. If you guys follow us on Facebook, I will be updating on there probably more regularly of what they're actually going through daily or weekly. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.